Sunday morning service is over. Let your weekly service begin. Merry Christmas. Hey, we're getting closer to the end of the year and closer to the end of our Do Not Be Afraid series. And today we looked at the fact that humility can be scary. Like when you're not in control of stuff and you can't fix it, it can be scary. It can make you mad, it can make you afraid. And I think a lot of that comes from pride, right? And so we looked at the fact that the mother of Jesus, Mary, was just this young girl in an out of the way place in a forgotten area, a maligned area of Israel. And she was picked by God to bring the savior of the world into the world. And it was pretty scary, but God said, no, I've got this figured out. Here's the great news about all that. Jesus has already come. You don't have to be the virgin that has to try to explain how she got pregnant. You don't have to be the one that raises him. You don't have to be the people that followed him around in a time when he literally got killed. He's already came, he's lived, he's died, and he's risen from the dead. So my live it out question for you is, how can you bring the savior into your world? What do you have to humble yourself with to share him with people? What do you have to do to allow yourself to bring him? into your world and maybe the the next question not even maybe here's the next question what would be your biggest concern for bringing him into the world that you would look like a bigot that you would look like a know-it-all that you would look like somebody who doesn't know it all that you wouldn't have the answers that you would have to be somebody who's perfect none of those things right you don't have to be a know-it-all you don't have to be perfect because you're not jesus is You just need to be willing. You need to be humble. You need to allow yourself the opportunity to show the world who he is and take the opportunities that God gives you. Look, Jesus loves you. Be strong and courageous. Let it be contagious. Don't be afraid to bring him into the world. Since he's already here, what can you do to share the good news with people? God bless you. I'll see you soon. Come on Christmas Eve. Invite your friends and your family. God bless you and Merry Christmas. Thank you.